Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be not exactly a show match. This is kind of a play match for practice that Mullet did up against Machine. Machine's going to be starting the upper left. I'm going to switch these colors up. Oh, I can't switch. They were in melee. Upper left hand corner, we have Machine as the Grazer. Upper right hand corner, we have 80s Mullet as the Black Terran. This is on Polypoid. And 80s Mullet, first of all, check out his stream. If you like my stream, you will love 80s Mullet's stream. You will love it. And same thing with Machine. I feel like there's a lot of lap over. A lot of people are like, Diggity seems kind of chill. Except he's got that little bit of energy to him. These guys are both super chill. Uh, Machine is one of the... They're both actually really, really nice guys on top of being excellent Brood War players. I'm not sure how to put that any other way. Machine is, by most people's measure, like the nicest guy in the scene. And 80s Mullet is not that far behind him. Hey, a hallucinated Kakuro. I didn't even realize that was on this map. Anyway, 80s Mullet is pretty famous for doing his 80s Mullet build, which is typically opening more of a Factory Goliath build. Martosis on his stream executed something similar. His is a little bit more patient than 80s Mullet style, I believe. And he actually argued that it was essentially the crazy Zerg of Terran. Machine has been playing out of his mind lately. He had fallen a little bit back, I feel like, to the, I don't know, 17, 1800 range. And then all of a sudden he got himself right back in practice. And he's actually been in BSL Chobo League. Or not Chobo League, Gosu League. I really want to see 80s Mullet go into BSL. Chobo League, Hasu League, or otherwise. And I was really actually excited for the season of Chobo League. But it turns out he wasn't able to make his matches. And now I'm like super sad. Go figure. Anyway, he's opening up with Barracks first. Nothing too crazy. It looks like Machine is opening up with a 12 hatch. Uh, and that that's the other thing I wanted to mention is both these guys stream fairly frequently. Machine is, in, I want to highlight Machine in particular if you are interested in BSL action and Foreigner action because he is part of Team Red and oftentimes he has been doing Team Red practices and that's basically a BSL Hasu League like who's who hit list. You've got Master Ray in those matches. You've got Fisheye in those matches. You've got a lot of guys that just a lot of recognizable names. Uh, R RTG or Ratatata if you uh, prefer. Anyway, Machine is finding Mullet's base, is sneaking in. I think he has a pretty good idea of what Mullet's up to regardless. Mullet does have that gas up early with that initial Marine being produced. 80's Mullet opposite side finding that hatchery being built. Spawning pool is now down and there's the extractor. Comparatively, Machine, or sorry, comparatively, 80's Mullet has just a very chill stream. Every once in a while he rages, but even when he's rages, raging, it's kind of subdued. I don't know of another way to put it. And it's just kind of a silly, irreverent stream. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's fun. Trying to think of other things I need to say for people that are on Twitch. This is probably... Actually, no. I'm going to release this. Maybe I should put this up today. No, I'm, I'll probably release this this weekend. Um, no, I'll put it up today is what I'll do. I think put it in, in between. But tonight... Tonight? Is it tonight? Maybe tomorrow. I think it's... T I'll, I'll have to check the time. But look on the Team Liquid forums. You have Gretorp versus Hazley Nut. That's another piece of action coming up. Anyway, getting to the commentary itself. Factory's already down for 80 small. He's got... Initial Marine scouting across the map. I think he's hoping to catch a wayward, this Wayward Overlord. Or he wants to check and see if Machine is sneaking a third base. Machine looks like he's opening up two hatch. And I think this is in response to kind of 80s mullet standard style. Oftentimes when you go this factory first opener, it is very difficult to repel early mutalisks just because you don't have the critical mass in order to do so. And oftentimes that can force a supplementation of turrets and other things that really cost your economy. That first Marine not finding... An expansion. I'm wondering if this SCV is now going to move to the 12 o'clock just to make sure, just to sneak and find what he's up against. In the meantime, 80's Mullet has gone ahead and grabbed his command center at his natural expansion. An initial vulture is being built. Machine, we'll see if he has the timing on the creep colony or if he's just going to try to repel it with Zerglings. He does have two Zerglings in production and he does have Zergling speed. And oftentimes, speed upgraded Zerglings versus unspeed upgraded vultures, they don't do that horrible. You do need a decent amount of them though. Three Zerglings starting to make their way, or, well, at least be in position at this stage. It looks like one Zergling just died right there. So you got that one kill in that Vulture, and it's going to see that Vulture incoming. You can see the Zerglings grouping up. There is a Creep Colony being built as well. But again, as soon as that speed finishes, I would not be shocked if this Vulture is easily dispatched. So finish right there. He's looking for position on the Vulture and does manage to pin it in that back corner before really losing any significant amount of drones and didn't even need to morph the creep colony. He's going to go ahead and do it just precautionarily. There's that factory, a second vulture being built. But we already have the spire about halfway done. And this is where 80s mullet actually needs to start 
building defense force. He's in a bit of trouble. You got some Zerglings making his way to this front. He's trying to micro his way against them, even though they are speed upgraded. It looks like they're and gonna actually have to block the ramp, perhaps, with the Vulture. This is where speed Zerglings in mass numbers can do better than uh, just Vultures generally. But even, even with the speed upgrade, you can see where Vultures still do, do very, very well. And they have, and actually with a nice front door block, he was able to do a bit of damage. Third Vulture out, and this is, wow, this is going to turn into trouble now for 80s Mold. He's just now getting that Engineering Bay. Because of those early Vultures, though, rather than Goliath, the Spire is going to finish. He's going to have Mutalisks right in his face, and 80s Mold is going to have a lot of trouble just surviving. We'll see if the pure, you, oftentimes you want the five Mutalisks. Looks like we have five Mutalisks in production. Engineering Bay being built. You have Armor 1 on the way. And a Machine Shop being dropped down to get that uh, Charm Booster upgrade. But 80s Molt could be in a bit in a spot of trouble. He's moving these Vultures out. If he can get the Vultures in some sort of threatening position, maybe he can use them as bait against the Mutalisks to buy himself some time. However, with these extremely damaged, that Sunken Colony in position, even just a handful of Zerglings, this might be sufficient. Let's see if Machine f Baits... <laughs> His name actually is Bryce Bates. Is he going to fall for that Vulture Bait? Looks like he's actually going to pull off. He's headed right to the natural expansion. There's one Goliath and one turret to try to defend this. And there's no turret currently over this factory line. So two Goliaths trying to defend this uh, territory. It looks like Machine losing a bit. Oh, man. I feel like if he had continued to produce Mutalisks and actually press this in, he might have actually been able to win the game right outright. But the thing is, is Machine is a very... He's an intelligent player, a very cautious player. And I didn't realize this. Machine was actually trying to grab a hatchery. I missed this. Trying to grab a hatchery in the bottom left-hand corner. And the vultures were able to get on top of it, as well as a marine. And that's actually going to pull the mutalisks off. And that is going to buy precious uh, precious time for additional goliaths to get in, in position, additional turrets to be laid down, and charm boosters to upgrade. Some goliaths actually pressing forward. This is a bit greedy by 80s mullet. They don't have enough to press through that Sunken Colony, and actually being out of position, that's going to leave that natural expansion very exposed to these Missile Turrets. Oftentimes, Missile Turrets are decent defense, however, often, but you really need some sort of mobile ground unit that can attack air to provide uh, some sort of supplementation. The rest of the Goliaths are going to continue to that bottom left-hand corner to try to deny that third. However, two more Goliaths now out. Charm Booster upgrade is there. Machine pulling back. Some drones were being transferred. A Creep Colony being attempting to be built here in the bottom left hand corner the goliaths are just going to work their way against the third so he is going to be able to kill the third before these mules are produce uh, in there and ah man that's great great play by 80s mullet to first of all buy him some time to get the goliath forces he needs he might end up losing all of these goliaths regardless because mutalisks especially at least in small numbers don't do absolutely terrible so nice micro by machine you can see right there what was that six mutalisks versus Five Mutalisks versus six Goliaths, and the Mutalisks still stand. But big win there, stopping that third base, or at least slowing it down. More Mutalisks in production. And 80s Mullet again back in that situation. Here's the thing with Mech. It's very expensive. You need to keep a large amount of it on the ground. Armor 1 is up, but you basically you need bulk and you need mass. And right now, he, yes, he took out that third base, but at the same time, he's lost a lot of Goliaths in the interim and he hasn't really established a third base from himself and that's the other aspect of mech is mech is expensive doing a great job though killing that overlord putting machine in the red also picking off some mutalisks while they're still in small numbers engaging the goliath so despite everything it looks like it is working out for him another expansion attempting to be grabbed for machine to go ahead and establish his third I feel like machine was playing this rather than going for two hatch and being extremely aggressive with the mutalisks he was going for uh, the mutalisks to try to provide him a, a degree of map control but machine really or sorry, uh, Mullet really pulling that map control out of his hands. Additional factories being plopped down. He is getting Siege Tank uh, research, so he wants to go ahead and get a Siege Tank to take out that Creep Colony and then have the Goliaths be an escort and just push into this. Machine nearly at a full control group of Mutalisks. And he does have Weapons 1 being, or he has Armors 1 finished and is making his way towards Weapons 1. This is the thing with Goliaths, though, against Mutalisks in small numbers is oftentimes they can get picked off in the corner. The mule's taking some damage, but they're if he can, again, keep this Goliath count low, that will be victories. If he can just keep keep the mass up, establish additional bases, and peck away before this really hits critical mass, he will end up winning. However, as you can see, 80's mullet has nearly a full control group of Goliaths. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember his timing on this. Uh, Artosis tends to be a little bit more patient with this comparatively. Weapons 1 is about halfway finished. 
some drones being just distance transferred to this bottom left hand corner no third gas yet and no push to hive just yet machine still sitting on three hatcheries overall and relying on his mutilus to do the bulk of the work for him so now machine starting to move out or sorry mullet starting to move out finally a lot of goliaths looking to maybe pounce on those mutilisks if they get a little bit too aggressive machine actually drawing those way back but here's the thing with 80s mullet build he oftentimes just wants to take this bulk of units once he hits weapons one be on that front door two more creep colonies are being built he's going to grab another overlord which is again going to put machine in the red right when he actually wanted to be able to build a lot of units and great spread from 80s mullet catching these mutilisks where every single goliath seems to be hitting a mutilisk as the uh, mutilisk as they're engaging three are actually getting a little bit pulled off the the wayward path and that's prop well is that going to cost them their lives maybe not Siege tank now on the front. It's being repaired. It looks like it took a little bit of damage, I assume, via Mutalisk. Reinforcements are coming across. That's getting cut off by machine. But in the meantime, 80s mullet is starting to press into machine's natural expansion and get a bit of a death grip. This is a lot of trouble for machine. More Mutalisks being produced. Does he have enough mass to just press through this? And he's got a turret being built on the front door as well. So two tanks. More reinforcements. The Mutalisks trying to dive in now without any ground support. Oftentimes, a mix of Mutalisks and Zerglings is what gets done. But are the Goliaths going to be enough? Looks like the Mutalisks are going to be able to pick off. Well, they're actually going to get continue to just rail Hellfire down on these Goliaths. The Goliath herd thinning out. Machine just pouring on an enormous amount of Mutalisks. And it looks like he has done it. He's cleaned the Goliaths up. And he's... As almost an afterthought, he has cleared out the siege tanks. Bottom left in the corner, he's got the three sent colonies up. It's establishing third. He can actually make moves towards hive tech. And again, this is pro now Mullet in a lot of trouble. In a lot of trouble. Yes, he has another group of Goliaths, but this is that dangerous stage where you need to keep critical mass. You need to establish a third just to stay economically alive. Yeah, you have the upgrades, but really, if you were going to win with this build, I, basically all the momentum has swung very heavily in Machine's favor. Academy up. More Goliaths moving out for round two. There is only one creep colony uh, there. Machine re-engaging. The, ooh, the Mutalists just flying straight over the Goliaths. A lot of them getting picked off, picked off. A Zergling getting picked off as well. And it looks like Machine just got caught off guard droning, perhaps. He does not have enough to repel this second wave of Goliaths. Or maybe not. Zerglings moving in. More Mutalisks overhead. And that is another huge grouping of Mutalisks. This time with Zergling support. And it looks like 80s Mullet might lose yet another wave of Goliaths. And he has not yet taken out any hatchery. Natural expansion really hurt any of Machine's economy. Trying to reinforce. This is still several Mutalisks overhead. Looks like they're trying to pull back. Machine... Picking off a straggler, and he's going to go ahead and pull back as well, dropping two more creep colonies. He's going to go ahead and upgrade them, upgrade them to sunks and 80s mullet, backing off once again, again not having that critical mass to really press through the sheer bulk that machine is producing. He's getting a starport. The other issue with this is, is this oftentimes with this build, you can have a lot of delays on detection. As you can see, there's not even a comsat station. I don't see a shift to lurkers here. We are seeing a push towards hive overall fortunately does not de need detection we have double evolution chambers down for machine it is possible he'll drop a hydro den and switch uh, to lurker after this but the thing is is getting into the transition is costly and as long as 80s mullet keeps applying that pressure it's difficult to hit that transition point a single zergling wandering up two zerglings wandering up seeing that army another army shifting around you can see a good si this is a good sized attack force as long as machine can keep batting these groupings down and I take it back he actually ended around 80s mullet army he's going to dive right into the main zerglings are going to get it on top of the turrets right there it looks like the mutalists are going to join them over this bridge point is usually a decent place to engage but those are charm booster goliaths the turrets getting wiped out so a lot of turrets going to be wiped out is he going to be able to get any sort of sev kills out of this is the next question we have a, a valkyrie being built for 80s mult to try to help deal with these mutalisks i was actually expecting a science vessel perhaps with a radiate that was going to take a large amount of time here's the thing again with mech it's so expensive to build these units it's difficult to get any sort of switch out but now machine actually pulling out and all he really got was a handful of turrets 
You managed to get five turrets, basically no SCVs. I'm not sure it matters, though, because Aedes Mullet is still sitting at two bases. He's still building a very expensive army. He's pressing up for a counterattack. It looks like more Mutalisks flooding in, knowing those turrets are down, and a machine diving once again into the main. His hive is up. Keep in mind, while he's doing all this harassment, he's got... Looks like an Ultralisk Cavern going down in the meantime, as well as a bunch of upgrades to make those Zerglings even stronger. Now SEVs are flooding, but there's the counterattack from Mullet, which is certainly going to force something back. He's got a Valkyrie in the air as well, so it's going to be Goliath plus Valkyrie, a Siege Tank. Maybe this, this is drawing Machine back. Machine again in the red. It looks like he lost an Overlord somewhere there. Also, Machine managed to take... Another expansion in the interim, the bottom left-hand corner, some Zerglings moving up, some more turrets desperately being placed down. Looks like there are Goliaths to deal with that, but all of a sudden, Machine's actually boxed in his natural expansion. He's behind 80's Mullet in overall supply count, and keep in mind, this is a mech army. Mullet is effectively all in. I like what Machine's doing here, camping Zerglings at that mineral only. Some Mutalists pushing in. The Valkyrie, is that going to make the difference? The Valkyrie does a good amount of splash damage. The Siege Tank's been taken out. Goliaths are working, and it looks like there's just too many Goliaths. And that is a scary amount of Goliaths, comparatively. 80's Molt continuing to press this forward. Still with that 30 supply count lead, but keep in mind, he still hasn't grabbed a third base. Another Creep Colony get taken out. Nidus Canal being production. I don't even know that's going to get up. Machine pulling, SE, or sorry, pulling drones out of there. Overlords also being picked out of the air simultaneously. Two desperate creep colonies being built in the main. And has 80's mullet done it? He's breaching in. There's more mutalisks being produced. Overhead, and they're getting picked off. The Ultralisk Cavern is exposed. That is a prime target to be picked off. Those creep colonies need to be worked on first. More reinforcements, though, are peeling up. Machine, keep in mind, still has four bases that he's... Well, three bases at this stage that he's running on. Some Zerglings getting some damage there. Creep Colony's taken out. More Mulesks grouping up. Machine patiently waiting to gather his army. Maybe between the Zerglings and Mulesks, he can re-engage. More reinforcements moving up. They're spending a little bit of time killing overlords along the way. Machine down to 65 supply. His drone line being attacked. And now the Mutalisks and Zerglings are re-engaging as the Goliaths are spread out. More are engaging this natural expansion, working on that Nidus Canal to cut off reinforcements. Now keep in mind, Machine's lost two bases worth of production, but he still has production in that bottom left-hand corner. Zerglings able to clean off the Goliaths in the main. The natural expansion looks like it's going to be taken out. Maybe that Creep Colony can repel the rest of the Goliaths that are there. 80's Molt finally building a command center. Able to take out that natural expansion. Walking the Goliaths in. Machine has an Ultralisk. Two Ultralisks. And it looks like that reinforcement out of nowhere is going to be able to wipe those Goliaths out. So another huge swing. So despite having almost half the supply of 80's Mullet, he's got bulky Ultralisks saving the day. Still, the game's not over yet. Natural expansion is very thin. Main's mind out. 80's Molt needs to find an expansion. It looks like he's building straight on that natural expansion. Perhaps he can take that third as well. Machine can re-grab his natural expansion. He's got this bottom left hand corner capped. If he can just drone up, re-establish his economy. While Molt's attempting to do the same. Some mines being planted here to soften those Ultralisks up. It looks like they very successfully doing so. Still on level 1 weapons overall. Honestly, I don't know that Molt had spare gas to continue with his upgrade. Still a bunch of factories now producing some additional siege tanks to perhaps deal with that Ultralisk. Command Center still on the way. So Machine's still in it. He's down to 34 drones. I'm looking for him. It looks like he's in position to go ahead and take that 9 o'clock base. If he can just reestablish his economy, he will be in a strong position. But it's a very tentative situation for him. Because he doesn't know how hurt 80's Mullet is for resources right now. 80's Mullet still has a threatening army. That threatening mech army. So he's kind of stuck in a position where he wants to drone, but he still feels like he needs to produce some units just to make sure that he doesn't get all in again. And, and that doesn't cost him the game. Some vultures dying on the front to those creep colonies. He's well shelled up there. Is moving out of position, actually, as some vultures 
are making their way up towards the main. I believe this is easily going to get taken care of between this Ultralisk and these Sunken Colonies. And I like Machine's decision here actually to not leave. He's got three bases. He knows he's up economically on 80s Mullet. So he's just going to leave this natural expansion B. He can take it down the line. 80s Mullet trying to, and this is kind of, honestly, I don't know that he can defend this. He's going to go ahead and try to take that three o'clock position. He's very much shelled, out with a, shelled up with a bunch of mines, some Goliaths, some siege tanks here. Near that mineral only. He's Machines just poking around that bottom right-hand corner to make sure 80s Mullet didn't sneak into that base. This is a lot of territory to try to cover, though. For 80s Mullet. And here's the thing. With this ramp this is, and the mech army, this actually might be a decent position to defend for 80s Mullet. You can see Machine backing off because he's got to go up one at a time into Siege Tanks, into Mines, into Goliaths. Just shredding that army as they went up that ramp one at a time. So 80s Mullet has an additional base. Has two additional bases. Still sitting at effectively, I think this is mined out. Effectively one gas? Never mind. Vespin gas is still active. This Vespin gas almost uh, mined out. So still sitting at two gas. Machine going ahead and grabbing his natural expansion. That's going to put him at four, soon to be five bases. As he has that nine o'clock base. Upgrading. Goliaths and siege tanks defending the mineral only. A handful of siege tanks defending that three base, three uh, that third base. So after a furious opener, both players sitting back and working towards a more macro-oriented game. Machine continuing to try to keep eyes on everything. Mullet doing the same. He wants to make sure that Machine doesn't take additional bases here across the six o'clock. You have some mutalisks still in the air. These are fairly well upgraded. I do like the mutalisks as a a potential attack threat. Not necessarily to kill Goliath, but basically to attack 80's mullet where he isn't. So effectively, what Machine is doing is he's just sending up an attack force, although he needs to not just dive them in head forward like that. He needs to group them up first. Re-engaging, able to pick off some stragglers here down that ramp side. But here's the thing. With these mutalisks out in the air, 80's mullet is in a situation where if he attacks, he might get backstabbed. I love these supply depots clogging up that location as well. Also, mech is slow. It can't be everywhere at once. So those mutalisks are being very mobile. Can find some holes in some locations. Some drones being transferred to that third base. So now machine with a dominant economy. 80s mullet doing what he can. Trying to plant some mines to prevent additional bases from being taken. Is going to be able to sneak in to the 9 o'clock base. Unfortunately for him, he's not going to find any drones there. A couple zerglings going to end up losing their life. I take it back. Three drones might get taken out. So he's kind of using his own vultures to neutralize the mutalisk threat, trying to press them off his base while he goes, while he continues to mine and establish what he has. He's actually 42 supply ahead. But unfortunately for him, because it's in mech, because machines in the position he's in, because you have this floating mutalisk army, he's not really in a position where he can capitalize on his superior unit count. And on top of that, Machine's economy is now sailing. And Ultralisks are starting to be produced. I'm looking for Defiler and Spire. That tends to be one of those death knell things late game. Because once you can put that Dark Swarm out and get Ultralisks on top of Siege Shanks and everything else, well, actually really Zerglings are the thing that can slip through at that stage in my opinion. With their Adrenal upgrades, they are so devastating. Roaming Bandit moving forward. Machine... Is he going to be able to react to Mullet on the move? Mullet actually pressing forward again into the natural of Machine. He wants to go ahead and take out that juicy, juicy tech at the main. Siege tanks in position. This is a lot of siege tanks to deal with those ultralists. This is a huge siege tank line. This is like a TVT army right here. And there's mines in position that are trying to be cleared there. By 80s Molt, the Goliaths are in position to go ahead and pick this off. He's got kind of a trailing army. This is the thing where this is a big enough threat where Machine wants to respond. He does... Ooh, and getting Comsat. So, has a decent-sized army here underneath. I don't know that even five... Like, okay, granted, this is level four armor on these Ultralisks. But this is still a huge amount of siege tanks. And this is no swarm to support it. Ultralisks coming in from the north. Zerglings pouring in as well. More reinforcements coming from the south. Is it going to be enough? Those, t I believe those tanks weren't sieged as they were coming from the south. You can see how quickly they got splatted, though. But this might just be a pure enough bulk 
to just shove straight through this. And it is beautiful pincer from machine. Something he's absolutely known for. Science vessel in the air, but no irradiate on top of the mutilisks. I'm actually shocked that 80s mullet was able to get that out. But there are vultures that have managed to sneak into that 9 o'clock base and pick off a handful of drones in the interim. 80s mullet sitting at two bases. He's in trouble again, though, because now he's down in supply. He's down in supply. He's pushing up upgrades, but Machine has an absolutely brutally strong army. Fairly well upgraded. The upgrades have, the upgrades have been a bit delayed, I think, just because of the furious action on both sides and kind of what, uh, like a skimpy economy both directions. Some Zerglings trying to scout what they can. They're trying to flood up. It looks like they're going to just... Yeah, they're trying to sacrifice their lives to get in. Mullet was trying to take a naked expansion in that bottom right-hand corner. The Zerglings catching it. The Zerglings wiping everything out there. And so you have Ultra, Ultra Ling. Out in position. And it looks like, honestly, Machine just has enough... Here's a here's the thing. Now, I... Dark Swarm doesn't make as much of a difference. Because it's more Siege Tanks and fewer Goliaths in the composition. I actually like to hear a high-level Zerg's thought on this. Because I've noticed this is kind of the thing these, uh, these days. Is to skip that Spire... I don't know, for a long part, even against Mech, I felt that like Spire and Plague in particular are so strong. 80s Mullet pushing up again towards the natural expansion. I'll ask Machine about that in the background, actually. Burrow being researched from Machine to try to negate some of these attacks. Some Zerglings trying to pull mines into those Goliaths. This is a big amount of Ultralisks coming along this corner. And again, a formidable army, about even... In supply count, and I don't know who to call it on this even supply count to be brutally honest, because this is Ultralisks and tanks and a bunch of mines in between. It's going to come down to positioning, in my opinion. Mines softening up these initial Ultralisks. Some Zerglings eating some damage. Machine not able to lead with the Zerglings. They're going to peel out. Wow, a lot of Ultralisks just getting wiped out by basically mines. Some nice positioning right there. Some reinforcements from Machine trying to dive in and shatter that. I think realizing all of those Ultralisks were softened up. He's trying to push in to that mineral only. is able to get there. But there's some vultures chasing everything else down. And look at those mines. They really want to go after. Are these vultures going to get taken out by that? Still hunting. Wow! Hunting down these ultralisks across the map. 12 o'clock base. Trying to get established by 80s mullet. Some zerglings going to drop. Are they going to drop? Are going to drop here. Not enough to, to really do the damage they need to there. So now machines in a situation where... He's starting to get boxed into his natural expansion. There's still that threat of attack at the main. 80s Mullet is starting to establish that 12 o'clock base. He's behind in supply once again. I like that he's camping basically everything else. But his main is mined out. He's basically sitting three bases, perhaps to three momentarily. And 80s Mullet has position outside of his ramp. Another Zergling just kind of exploratorily getting picked off. So a couple Scourge in the air upon seeing that last Science Vessel. Here's the one, yeah, hole in that defense is those Science Vessels. Because when you are building mech, just finding the gas to get those Science Vessels can be so weak. So look for, again, potential tech switches to Mutalisks back and forth. But again, those Goliaths have been absolutely everywhere. Vulture is able to find a handful of Zerglings and clear them out bottom right. If they can, and I think, well, actually, it looks like they're going to exit. If they could just clear vision, that might have provided some defense. Some more drops with some Hydralisks to the upper left-hand corner. That's going to get cleaned up. 80s Mullet well prepared for this. Actually, accidentally killing one of his own Zerglings. Trying to burrow right there to be annoying. I like it. Knowing that Science Vessels would be in small supply. We do see... Where's the Defiler Mount? I see it upgrading. I want to see it. There's a Defiler Mound. We are upgrading Consume. If we can get some Defiler and Swarm in this action, that might help break this natural expansion and mitigate <clears throat> a large portion of this army. I feel like Defiler Swarm with Ultralisk is just incredible, particularly when it allows those Zerglings to get on top of everything else. The Zerglings peeling forward to clear some mines. Ultralisks now engaging from the north. This is still a very staggered and beefy tech army. Those Ultralisks are absolutely getting obliterated, but the Mutalisks getting on top of everything else. Goliath reinforcing. More siege tanks coming up as a point of reinforcement. But it looks like 80's Mullet is losing his contain on Machine. 
after Machine has enough Mutalisks to get on top of these Siege Tanks after everything else got obliterated underneath. Some Goliaths providing some support. Another Siege Tank getting wiped out. It looks like the rest of these Mutalisks might be cleaned up by incoming reinforcements. Some Goliaths queuing up, and then, wow. So right now, 80's Mullet has this huge bank. He's continuing to try to keep this threat of that natural expansion up. A Defiler finally out. Are we going to see some Swarm? There's some Swarm. If he can get those Zerglings past those mines, maybe he can peel in on top of that and really start breaching this. But this has just been a co consistent threat. I love what Machine's doing as well by engaging with those Mutalisks. He's basically... Oops. With Arc Swarm working against him a little bit right there. Heads up on 80's Mullet to re-engage there. But here's when... It, yeah, when the Zerglings can get underneath, they're so devastating. Basically using those Mutalisks to force the Goliath switch. And then with the Goliath switch, he's got that Swarm, which he can put on top of the Goliath to negate... Uh, that with the Zerglings, which allows him to have uh, an efficient army. Zerglings getting underneath that swarm and able to get a decent amount of damage right there. I think I missed some action elsewhere on the map. Mineral only is mined out for 80s Mole. He's still got that 3 o'clock base. He has a sizable bank. He's a little bit low on gas. He's still continuing to get a contain and potential... Attack threat. He's got that 12 o'clock base established. Looks like that Mutalisk re-unburrowed. Machine, in the meantime, has gone ahead and established his mineral only. And this is where the action's at. Siege tanks continuing to press forward into the natural expansion. There's a handful of defilers there. But not a lot of Zerglings and Ultralisks otherwise to engage this. Mutalisk starting to press up. The Goliaths are re-engaging. And Ultralisks are getting on top of these Siege Tanks. It's really a tentative situation with these Dark Swarms. Where when you have the Dark Swarms underneath... Yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. That's the action. Ultralisks have so much health. 80's Molt still with a supply count lead. Continuing to try to deny Machines Mineral Only. Machines gone ahead and grabbed the Mineral Only on the opposite side of the map. He's also been able to deny that 6 o'clock just latently with a couple Zerglings. I wonder if these Zerglings are heading there to go ahead and clear those mines as well. 80's Mullet taking Machines Mineral Only. He's mined out the 3 o'clock. He's got that 12 o'clock base. Right now, I feel like if Machine just can hold on, he will end up taking this match. Just because he's got more bases out in the world that are working for him and just feels like he's got again because mech and how slow it is and how vulnerable it is to backstab machine might have a better chance at taking these bases in the bottom right hand corner all he has to do is make sure those stay out of 80s mullet's hands if he can continue to keep 80s mullet out of his natural keep him from pressing in and taking his his natural in his main basically and hitting a lot of this really important tech and perhaps stop these vultures. He might end up just starving 80's mullet out over the long term of the match. Still behind in supply. Ultralisks moving in. Good swarm right there to get on top of these Goliaths and these siege tanks. And another beautiful swarm. I think 80's mullet is going to have to evacuate this mineral only now. Just makes You can just see how it makes Ultralisks so strong. So strong. Zerglings trying to clear those mines from that back corner to allow those Ultralisks to go ahead and clean up the rest of this attack. The command center is floating away. Still more siege tanks, more Goliaths, more vultures moving their way up. And this just corner positioning has been very difficult for a machine to engage upon and clear out. You can just see how the mines and the rest of the explosive damage here is just wrecking everything. I'm wondering if there's going to be a queen to go ahead and take care of that command center or maybe like a pick off to go for this as well there's like an oversaturation of SEVs at that 12 o'clock base it is the only current functional base for 80s mullet he, he still has an okay bank but opportunities are dwindling for him to pull ahead in this match more of zerglings funneling into that middle only I'm almost wondering if machine wants to go ahead and take this now he's got it offended anyway right 80s mullet wow actually moving right back around Pressing up to that mineral only. Zerglings pouring in. No swarm. No mines though to clear out the, the few Zerglings that are left. And those tanks aren't sieged. Another swarm but just not enough Zerglings to, to really do the damage underneath. 80's Mullet taunting with this command center overhead. And it looks like 
in a moment, machine for the first time in a long time might flip the supply. And again, catch up over 80's mullet. 80's mullet in a desperate situation now. He's only got that 12 o'clock base mining. He really... Yeah, he can go for this bottom right-hand corner, but he might end up losing... Wow, just a lot of circlings from machine now. He might end up... Here's the thing. The zerglings are so efficient with swarm right now. I like this tech switch. He's like, okay, I'm going to save my gas. Wait for a moment where I can just really produce a lot of ultralisks. Zerglings are cheap. There's a lot of minerals on the map. Cheap and efficient, particularly with that swarm. And again, this is potentially turning out... Turning into a starvation opportunity. I like 80's mullet also... Kind of in these downtimes, getting those mines planted to mitigate the Zergling Ultralist threat. Trying to press up and retake machines mineral only. I actually talked about this with Moltrap a long time ago. I think it is better to think of Zerglings rather than units as bullets, effectively. They're living bullets, like out of a machine gun that you just eventually throw at your enemy. And if you throw enough of them, eventually it gets through, right? Oof. Whereas Ultralisks are more like grenades. <laughs> You're lofting them out there and hoping they hit something. Some Zerglings trying to sneak in from underneath are able to get on top of a siege tank there and at least clean one of them out. Keep in mind, there's still that drop threat. Still the Mutalist switch tech threat. Machine has taken a significant supply lead right here. SCV's trying to... Are we building supply depots to get in the way here? Over that natural expansion, some counterattacks moving in across that 3 o'clock base. Honestly, not a lot to defend here. You can just lift these command centers off. Yeah, he loses some gas. Not sure there... I'm not sure that's a really a big loss, though, for 80's mullet. Really, what he needs to keep up is, is a lot of his infrastructure back here and somehow establish a base in this bottom right-hand corner. There is a burrowed zergling preventing that from happening. He would need a science vessel. He does have comsat up. And Machine just kind of testing out. He's like, okay, how strong is your mech line? Let me go use Zerglings to prod everything else underneath. He's going to, again, clean out here at this 3 o'clock, but I'm not going to say too little too late, but it's not really going to affect 80's mullet all that much. Some Mutalisks now pushing in to that mineral only. Going to pick some siege tanks off that were exposed. Also pick off a handful of SCVs and every mineral counts. At this stage of the match. More Zerglings flooding in here. It looks like some distance mining SCVs. <laughs> getting the last bit of gas. Before that base is taken out. Some more Vultures continue to flood into the 6 o'clock. Oof. Handful of Zerglings getting taken out. Like the Mutalisks also clearing out the mines midfield. So right now both players kind of just sending out... I want to call them like buccaneers, little pirate raids across of Zerglings and Mutalisks. We do have a queen in position. It's infested. Infested command center at the mineral only. Nice play with the dive in. It gets instantly taken out, but the damage is done. Moral victory to machine. Bottom right in corner, some vultures trying to clear out what they can. So 80s can take a base, but now, yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Trying to re-grab that command center as best he can. 12 o'clock base. And machines mineral only are all that's mining for him. Both players very low on minerals. Bottom left-hand base is mined out. Natural expansion's mined out. 9 o'clock is mined out for machine. He's got that mineral only. There's going to be a big fight over the natural expansion. And honestly, this bottom right-hand base. So the bottom right-hand base is going to be a critical piece of territory. Mutalisks engaging right there. And here's the thing. Machine's in the upper left-hand corner. And... Mullet is in the upper right-hand corner, and Machine's cut off from resupplying from his main because of this siege tank line. But Mullet has to defend an incredible span of territory. He's got to maintain this blockade in the upper left, and potentially the threat therein, or just deny troops right there. And he needs to deny everything bottom right from Machine and potentially take it himself. Machine at 184 supply. A lot of that in Zerglings. Actually, a lot of that in Idle Drones currently as well. Still anybody's match. He's loading up some Zerglings to do some Zergling bombs over the mine lines. And just kind of clear out mines a little bit at a time. He's going to be able to get some Zerglings. Yeah, I like this. Very efficient use 
of minerals. And still trying to attempt, oh, trying to attempt those, it was moving those mutalisks in just in case those Goliaths tried to push off. Mullet trying to take the mineral only in the bottom right-hand corner. It looks like he is successfully going to do so. But the 6 o'clock base now mining for a machine. All sorts of drones. Right there for him currently. And more Zerglings starting to flood out. Mullet's main, well, technically main base, 12 o'clock base, looking very thin. A huge flood of Zerglings moving into this mineral only. Mutalisks overhead. Getting on top of everything, and this is too many Zerglings for 80s Molot to handle. Just nothing but a wave of gray on the minimap. That command center getting picked off very rapidly. This command center is lucky that it hasn't been spotted. So right now, both players very low on resources. Every resource counts. Some Zerglings flooding up. Looks like they're going to catch that siege tank, but loses a lot. Wow, that was, I don't know that was worth it, to be honest, at this stage of the match. Lost a lot of Zerglings for it. Some Vultures able to get in the 6 o'clock. Pick off some additional drones. A Sunken Colony is being built, which honestly, yeah, I think that's worth it. Mutalisk's finally here to take those Vultures out. The Command Center's floating very precariously in that bottom right -hand corner. Zerglings... Wandering in to see how far they can get. I think a couple. I think that might have been ultralisks. I'm not sure. Maybe zerglings trying to spot the blood. Mutalisks just trying to find what stragglers they can. More vultures moving across. The Goliaths in good position. This is just, again. It's just action all over the place. Both players trying to distract each other, trying to dive in. Some more vultures manage to get into the six o'clock. Unfortunately, it looks like they're not going to get a lot of drone kills this time. Some Goliaths pressing forward, able to pick off those Mutalisks as they were out of position and exposed in the middle of the map. Some Zerglings flooding up across the middle of the map, trying to find something. It looks like because they're coming in a little bit piecemeal, they'll get a Vulture, maybe two Goliaths. Looks like two Goli three Goliaths before they're cleaned up. Still anyone's match. Nice parasite to keep things eyeballed. 80s mullet has the mineral only mining. Machine has his mineral only mining. It's still basically six o'clock base with some gas, mineral only mining. Critically, who can deny or take that bottom right hand corner or star or who can starve out whom is gonna be critical in this match. 80s mullet under a hundred minerals. Forty well, approximately forty supply behind. On a rough count there. A lot of Ultralisks grouped up for Machine at his natural expansion. He's approaching 200 supply. Command Center just floating down. Is this just a spotting Command Center? I think this must, might be a, splotting, a, a spotting Command Center. 80's Mullet. To get in this match, maybe he needs to attack somewhere, but where can he attack? Zerglings flooding in while he sees that mech moving out of position. To stop production here. It looks like he's going to go ahead and give up that mineral only. So he can try to take out what's left of Machine's mining bases. So moving in this heavy tech army. That's provoking Machine to go ahead and clear out what infrastructure was there. So it is basically going to be a positional exchange. And 80's Mullet regrouping some his troops back to his main. So he's going to be able to take out this mineral only. And should be able to swing around and take out the 6 o'clock base. I think his plan is to go ahead and take the 6 o'clock, move all of his mech in there, and start mining from that location. So Machine now, all of a sudden, he is out of resources. Might be able to retake his mineral only. It's still got a lot of minerals there. Now, does 80, 80's mullet move to the 6 o'clock immediately, or is he going to swing in and try to take out what's in that bottom right-hand base? Some Mutalists trying to dive in. But there are a lot of Goliaths there. To greet him. This feels like a big reshuffle. And I'm not sure who's going to come out ahead. Zerglings and Ultralisks coming from two directions. A great pincer attack. There's the Dark Swarm. And I think that might be it. With a nice grouped positional map attack. 80's Mullet loses the bulk of his mech army. He's desperately trying to mine at that mineral only. It's so difficult to move quickly with mech. 
I think if he had managed to just push into the 6 o'clock base and reestablish right there, he might have been able to take it. It was a good... I like the concept. I like the shot he took. But now it is... I feel like it's Machine's game to lose. Just needs to regroup, rebuild, have enough units, and start pushing into this mineral only in the bottom right-hand corner. And it looks like he is grouping up to do so. Siege tanks, Goliaths of Vultures are there. Zerglings getting wiped out by the mine line. Mine line. Fun to say. Nice alliteration. Keep in mind this is a ramped area. So there is misfire up. Not that that matters because it's basically just melee units. Four machine. He's loading up for Zergling bombs. Ooh, the Goliath is going to be able to wipe that out before it is able to do so. So machine kind of donating units currently. He's low enough on resources. He can't quite seem to... The positional advantage is to mullet here. Trying to clear those mines to allow those ultralists to get in unassailed. More mines being established. This is, wow, this is crazy. You wouldn't expect this much of a fight over the mineral only and to be this decisive at this stage of things. There is a single mutalisk right there. Maybe that can go in and maybe pick off some of these mines out of position. The Zergling's trying to sweep down, again, get some mines cleared. But the Vulture's very rapidly taking them out. The Vulture is moving out a little bit too far, trying to bait a couple units in. There are some Hydralisks now to reposition. But while all of this is happening, Machine's distance mining from that mineral only. Yeah, trying to press in against those Vultures. So threatening 80s Mullet at that location. We have a single Vulture wandering up. Great timing to kill that drone as it was wandering up to go ahead and take that mineral only. Now we have some Mutalisks up in the air. Big minefield to the north. So 80s mullet well boxed in. But here's the thing. He is only mining out of this single base. While machine is mining out of two. Critically though, if the game continues for long enough, what 80s mullet might be able to do is establish a position. Get enough resources where he can maybe take what's in the bottom right. He's already floating a command center there to do so. I think Machine realizing that possibility is going to go ahead and take out that command center that was floating up in the air. Another command center very much on fire starting to make its way that bottom right-hand corner. Machine getting a move on now. Ultralist pressing in with some Dark Swarm cover getting a lot accomplished. Five siege tanks remaining. A little bit of an empty swarm. Another beautiful swarm. Ultralist on top of those siege tanks and I think that might be it. Just a handful of reinforcements. SCVs coming off the line to try to attack in the midst of this Dark Swarm. 80s Mullet repelled that attack. Does Bashin have anything to follow up with? He does have some, some Zerglings and some Mutalisks out on the map. But honestly, he's very thin on resources himself. And so a little bit cautious on these attacks. And this might be the final blow. Moving in and taking that command center before Machine was able to just drop and take it. Knowing that... 80s Molt just didn't have the Goliath force to deal with the Mutalisks and be out of position. Couldn't defend everything at once effectively. Machine with a slight supply lead. Still distance mining at this mineral only. Might be able to do so at his own mineral only. Still some mines to the north. 80s Molt sitting at just 64 supply. Machine playing very cautiously. This is a difficult situation to pull out of, but Machine certainly has the... <laughs> I've said this several times, so hopefully it'll remain true, but I feel like Machine absolutely has the lead here. As long as he can deny those bottom right-hand bases. Great Mutalist Harass pushing in. I don't think there's enough Goliath. Even if these Goliaths take out these Mutalists, this is SCVs that are just getting wiped out. And Machine does not care. He's like, go ahead and do it. Do what you want. Some vultures trying to press out. I feel like this is a bit of a desperation attack. He is able to get a handful of drones, and he's getting Zergling kills. Looks like that did successfully pull... I'm not sure if the Beatles died or it pulled them back. That did pull them away. The vultures are heading up to the north, I think, just honestly to get wiped out nearly immediately. There is a something colony there. 
80s mullet down to 60 supply. He's desperately trying to get this command center up, desperately trying to keep his SEVs alive, while Mutalists continue to dive in overhead. A handful of units going to go ahead and press in to the natural expansion to see how soft that main is. And 80s mullet trying to find a way to use his current position to go ahead and take another base in that bottom right-hand corner just so we can get resources to stay in this match if he can find a way to do so. He very well may win this match. Machine is not making it easy. He's Machine continuing to macro up, getting some Ultralisks out, getting some additional Defilers, has a good amount of Zerglings. He has twice the supply of 80s Mullet currently. Zerglings flooding forward, going to go ahead and clear a handful of these mines. Mullisks sweeping forward. Sweeping out what they can. The command center is up, but with those mutalisks, I don't think they're going to be able to go ahead and take that natural expansion unopposed. He's floating down to try to do so, though. Single SCV that I think this was an SCV from gas mining, maybe? Somewhere out there trying to get there. It's going to get picked off. Poor SCV. Another Overlord getting taken out. That's actually putting Machine in the red at this stage. Mutalisks again diving in and working on those SEVs and again every mineral counts SEVs now flooding in this bottom left going to try to mine while that command center plants the mutalisks pushing in so it looks like 80s mullet has established the bottom right well maybe he's established comps adding to go ahead and kill that single zergling that has established that bottom right the question is is can he hold it distance mining briefly he's got that command center down ultralisks and zerglings moving out of Machine's main, he's starting to group up for an attack. He doesn't want this to stand. Honestly, on Machine's part, I'm almost wondering if he's like, go ahead and take that so that I can attack your spread out army. One tank on siege. Mulus forcing the Goliaths to stay in that bottom right hand base. Zerglings and Ultralisks boys. There is a science vessel overhead. It's really difficult to sneak those science vessels out again in the mech composition just because it is so gas heavy. And I like what Machine's doing. He's just positioning a large part of army just if there were reinforcements trying to come from that upper right that they wouldn't be able to uh, reinforce. I'm most wondering if it would be worthwhile lifting off a lot of these factories and moving them bottom right. Zergling's starting to push in. Clear those mines. Not able to get a lot accomplished there. Some mutalisks waiting nearby. A great irradiate on those mutalisks. Good peel off to preserve their health. Vulture trying to kill <laughs> that Defiler under Swarm. Now Machine's mined out at the 6 o'clock. His mineral only getting thin as well. He's got one open base. Still has a sizable supply lead. Another science vessel moving out. Is it just going to irradiate along the way? Ultralisks, unfortunately, face planting into a lot of mines. But still more, more Ultralisks coming. And I believe that is too many to handle. More attack forces coming from underneath. There's also Queens nearby to deal with any sort of softened up attack force. And that is GG. It is enough to punch through. What a match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, check out 80s Mullet and Machine at Machine USA on Twitch. Great game. Amazing guys, thanks for listening.